don't know how good that is. She's going to sleep. It's a tired baby. Hey guys. We just left our first trunk or treat of 2022 and Lord have mercy. It was a huge one. June's almost asleep in the truck. We stopped at the Dollar General <laughs> to get some drinks because uh, we were in line forever. Luckily, we got there early. I'm so glad we did because, whew, I mean, there were thousands, probably close to 2,000 people there. The line was still all the way down the sidewalk when we were leaving. And they, they it was car lots and some other businesses in the town. Um donated towards it and they spent eleven thousand dollars on candy and you could go through it once for free and then you could pay a dollar for a donation for a food drive to go back through it <laughs> we only went through it once because we have little kids but i told Devin if the kids were older we would definitely pay a dollar and went back through it because we would have got so much candy i mean june's bag and jesse's bag is probably like five pounds each it's a ridiculous amount of candy we're gonna we, like we wouldn't even have to go anywhere else this year but of course we will because <laughs> we're making memories but Junie's right here asleep. And um, yeah, I just wanted to come out and say that that's what we did today. I hope you can see me somewhat. I can't tell by my phone. Um, but it is about 6.30 from what I can see up there. I'm sitting in the back with the kids. June's over here. Jesse's seat is over here, but he's in the store. <laughs> but it was so much fun. We also got two free vouchers for free kids combo meal at Cane's. The Cane's people were there. They were handing out candy and those. So that was cool. We're going to go there tomorrow. Devin has a dentist appointment here in this town as well. Not a dentist. Did I say dentist? Doctor appointment for his, uh, it's like a three month checkup from last time. Anyways, <laughs> uh, we got to do that in the morning. Then we're going to go to Kane's because we haven't been there yet since it's open here. We've never been to Kane's. Um, and I told him, I was like, well, that's the perfect reason to go because we get Jesse free, free food. Um, and then we got, we're going to go to the pumpkin patch tomorrow and we're hopefully going to go with my sister and her family. They're going to try to meet us there. And then there's another trunk or treat tomorrow night. So, we're busy. <laughs> I still haven't got to sell it all this week. I had planned to put the fall bags up Monday. <laughs> but I haven't got to sell them yet. I keep every day something goes on and we're busy. So, I'm hoping to get them done this weekend and up early next week maybe. But that's not set in stone. <laughs> and I don't want to say that because I've been saying that. <laughs> but anyways, we've had a good day. we got a lot of candy. And I can't wait to pick through it and get out some yummy things for myself. <laughs> I told Jesse, because he was wanting June's candy, and I said, nope. The first year of any kid's trick-or-treating is for the parents. It's to make memories, and the parents get the candy. And then after that, the next year, she'll be able to eat everything that she wants, you know. Um, it's a tart candy, of course. And we did the same way with Jesse, you know, and now we're doing it with her. Except she can't eat suckers. I hold suckers for her, let her eat them. Um, and probably solid chocolates like a Hershey bar or something but point is she can't eat the whole bag and Jesse wants to go through it and I'm like you got your own candy this is for mommy and daddy pick out what we want and then you can have the rest you know it's like a family candy after that <laughs> but um and then all stuff we don't like because none of us are big on things with nuts in it like um Snickers and things we uh we'll put that in our <laughs> trick-or-treat bucket I guess I better bake two though because I normally when I ha when I put candy bucket outside our apartment when we leave on Halloween, I always get things that are non-allergenic or whatever. We usually get like a, what, I think I remember the brand, <laughs> but it's like Nerds and um, Gummies and uh, Starburst, you know, things like that, that aren't chocolate and don't have um, wheat and dairy and nuts in them, because I don't know any of the neighborhood kids enough to know if they have allergies. And a lot of times I put little toys and stuff in there too, but I'll, I might have two bowls. And have one with the nut stuff and one with the other stuff, everything else. Anyways, I'm blabbing now. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get off here because I'm going to get a drink of something when Devin brings it out here. And we're going to head home and uh, probably watch a movie or something. I don't know. Do whatever we do. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogtober Day 22, I think. I can't remember what today is. <laughs> Anyways, bye guys.